Hello, my beautiful, darling, gorgeous loves. Welcome to your daily quickie for all 12 signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. I do have a Cancerian only channel, Virgo only channel, Leo only channel. Those are listed in the description box below. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. Just hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section. There's a whole list of everything I give away uh, in the description box. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell. Make sure it says all notifications so you know when I post and when the winners are announced, okay? Uh, my TikTok is below, recommended readers, decks used, all that good stuff is down there in the description box, so check it out. Um, these readings are not timestamped, so anyone that does post the timestamps in the description, in the uh, comment section, um, a special shout out and thank you. You guys are an absolute blessing. We will be doing earth signs, water signs, fire signs, and air signs, daily collective, daily finance and career, and daily singles. It will always be in that order. So whenever you want to, um, whenever you want to, uh, you know, come in, you could just fast forward to that. Okay. Sorry, guys. I saw a deck that I know I have to use, so I'm just going to go dig for it now. Um, okay, so it'll always be in that order, okay? Uh, if you want to view other dailies, you can go to the playlist. I put all of these on a playlist, okay? All right, so let's move on here. All right, Spirit, tell me about my beautiful earth signs and water signs, please. Tell me about earth signs and water signs, please. In love for May 20th, please. Earth signs and water signs for May 20th, please. In love. Earth signs and water signs for May 20th. In love, please. Earth signs and water signs May 20th. In love, please. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We're starting with Virgo, please, spirit. We're starting with Virgo. The oracle for today, we've got wall and misunderstanding. Okay, so obviously somebody said something they didn't mean or the whole situation is a misunderstanding. We've got the ace of swords. We have the moon card. We have the four of pentacles. We've got the emperor. We've got the eight of cups and the three of wands. Okay. So Virgo, I do feel like something needs to be said here with misunderstanding and that moon card. There is obviously something that was said or done and it looks really bad. So a, a truth has to come out. <coughs> and I feel like Virgo, you know, I hate to say this, but you know, you might be someone here. Okay. And let me just say someone here because Virgo, it could be you. It could be your person. Someone's being really stubborn. I hate to say, I'm sorry. Someone's being really stubborn. They see that a simple conversation of truth could heal everything, but they don't want to. They're allowing somebody to believe in this misunderstanding. So the warning here is be careful because every minute that is wasted without this, without this, um, being resolved is a minute that this person is becoming more and more emotionally disconnected. I, you may end up really losing this person or cross watchers. You may end up really losing Virgo because they're, you know, if you don't fix this misunderstanding, it's like someone here is like, no, no, I shouldn't have to say anything. I shouldn't have to do anything. I shouldn't have to. They should just trust me, <laughs> you know, like that type of energy. Right. But that's not the way it goes, because this person's really going to walk away. They, you know, whatever this misunderstanding is, they really believe that to be true and they're going to walk away. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Capricorn, please. Capricorn, ooh, scissors. Okay, disappointment in some affair. Oh no, Capricorn, what's happening here? Are you being disappointed? Are they being disappointed? Let's find out. We've got the Ten of Cups, ooh, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Lover's Card, the Eight of Swords, and the Devil. Okay, so Capricorn, here's the deal. There is a beautiful, beautiful relationship here and or marriage or, okay, that is coming to an end. Why is it coming to an end? Because somebody here feels like they are 100% positive that there's a third party. Okay. Now 
here's what worries me. When I see that Eight of Swords energy, this is somebody in their head, but they have no proof. This is someone that does not have any tangible proof whatsoever. But they're 100% positive that somebody's cheating. Okay, are you cheating? I don't know. Are they cheating? Still don't know. The point is, is that this is ending. This is ending because somebody here 100% believes that there's cheating happening here, but there's no proof. Nobody has seen a text message. Nobody has, uh, you know, found a pair of panties in someone's car. Nobody here has, you know, nothing. There's been nothing. There's been no tangible evidence. It's just someone here just, no, I just know you're cheating, right? And it's going to end a beautiful connection, maybe even a marriage, okay? Spirit, tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus. We've got forest, muddled and unclear thinking, okay? Now, when I see those trees like that, Taurus, someone may need to go into nature. They may need to go into a forest where there's complete quiet because I do feel like your mind is just like all over the place, okay? So that may be a, a sign, Taurus, that's telling you go for a hike, go into nature where there's complete quiet to get your head straight, okay? Let's see what we have here for Taurus. The hanged man, the hermit, the magician, the nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy, the wheel of fortune, and the death card, okay? So Taurus, what I'm feeling here is somebody has either been doing magic or manifesting, trying to get somebody back. Okay, I feel like somebody has been waiting and waiting and waiting, <clears throat> no communication, <clears throat> but someone here has been trying to learn how to hone their manifestation skills or learn how to do magic. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card, somebody here is trying to change a situation. They're trying to manipulate energy and change a situation. Okay, somebody here, either Taurus, you're in Nine of Pentacles energy preemptress energy or you want this preempt why is my nose so itchy what does that mean i don't even know okay like there's no reason for it to be this itchy okay so yeah so either you know now taurus it could be that somebody here is doing this because you're the nine of pentacles so it could be that someone's trying to get you back or you're trying to get this person back okay and i feel like it's messing with with this person's head, whoever's doing this, because they're putting so much energy into this. You know, don't forget that magic and manifestation does take a lot of energy out of you, okay? Someone here may be confused as to why it's not working, and for whoever that is, I'm going to tell you why. Because you can't mess with free will. Okay, this person may be divinely protected. So guys, if you're doing this to a Taurus, you may have someone here that's got divine protection or already has protection spells on them. It's not going to work or, you know, vice versa, because I ultimately see this person not being touched. You know, they're not being touched. This is someone that's not being affected by anything that's happening here. Okay, so Taurus, if you want this person, you might just have to do it the old fashioned way and give them a little ring a do you know what i'm saying um or you know with cross watcher if you want that taurus you might have to just you know get them on the phone do it the old-fashioned way communicate okay all right so let's see here uh overall message for my earth signs we've got arrow you are you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life okay so earth signs whatever decision you do ultimately decide to make Okay, it's going to be the right decision. Tell me about my earth sign. Seven of swords, the five of cups, yikes. The queen of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The ace of cups, the page of cups, and the six of swords. Okay, there's going to be apologies here. Okay, somebody dipped, they left, they lied, they were sneaky, they cheated, they weren't being honest about their feelings, whatever the hell this person did, they're regretting it. Okay, so earth signs, you may have someone coming back towards you with an apology asking, hey, can we just let bygones be bygones? I love you and I want to start over or earth sign, you may be doing this to somebody. Okay, all right, so... But either way, someone's acknowledging that what they did wasn't right, okay? 
Let's move on to my beautiful water signs. Cancer, what do we have coming in here for Cancer? Vine, seek out information that will help you. Okay, so Cancer, if you guys are looking to manifest, if you're looking to clear your chakras, if you're, you know, whatever it is here, uh, what is it that they say? Um, oh, God. Think first, act last. So, you know, think before you act, okay? Or if you're looking to do something here, look up the right way to do it before you just do it on your own, okay? Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. We've got the Two of Swords, the World card. Cancer, y'all, you completed some cycles here, closed out everything, you're done. Um, things that you were not sure about in the past, you're sure about now. You've learned your karmic... Oh, I was just going to say karmic lessons and there's a justice card. Oh, I'm so good at what I do. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I didn't even see that justice card there. So yeah, justice card and the world card. You are closing out those karmic cycles and you are happy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Cancer, y'all are like just walking. Oh, oh, I have to go tinkle and Cancer's going to the bath. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. like you're just like you're just oh my god cancer i just got the giggles doing your reading i just got the giggles doing your reading the nine of swords and the knight of swords okay cancer be careful because when people see you happy they want to take it away OK, so you're going to have people that are going to try to come in with communication, attacking you, saying things to gaslight you to stress you out. Don't let that happen. Are these people going to win? No, they're not. You're going to be like, not today, Satan. May the power of Christ compel you. <laughs> you're like, you are not letting anybody steal your joy. What a beautiful reading, Cancer. That was I got the giggles. That actually gave me like energy. Ooh, that was beautiful. OK, Whew. moving on to. Pisces, moving on to Pisces, we've got diamond, you'll be receiving a gift or a, no, you'll be, blah, blah, blah. you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Ooh, Pisces, some of you may be getting engaged or getting something very nice. All right, let's see here. Tell me about Pisces. We've got the um, temperance card. We've got the page of swords. We have the two of wands. We've got the queen of swords. We have the ace of wands and the king of swords. So Pisces, you have someone here that's watching you. You have someone here that's watching you and you're in peace. You're healed. You're looking beautiful. You look balanced. Okay. The problem is they know that if they want to come towards you, they have to win you over. They have to win you over. Now, I, I love looking at all the different decks, Pisces, because in this particular deck, look at this Queen of Swords. She has her sword up, but she's bored. Okay, she's bored. So, you know, Pisces, I do feel like you're you're getting kind of tired of pushing everybody away. You're getting kind of tired of keeping that sword up, okay? And I feel like this person sees that. They see that, you know, you're you might be ready for some form of companionship. And with the King of Swords and the Ace of Wands, I feel like this is um what this person has been waiting for. Now, this could be something new or it could be something old. I don't know, okay? Um, I do feel, though, that this person is coming forward. They may be taking you to a nice restaurant. They may be giving you something fancy, okay? Um, you know, to try to show off, to get your attention. They see that, you know, you're tired of being in that guarded state and that, you know, you're kind of Eh, you know, if someone comes towards you, you may not threaten their life, you know, maybe just chop off a hand, mess with me, I'll chop off your whole hand, you know, you may not be ready to like, right in the jugular, you know, you're willing to give people a chance to speak, <laughs> you know, like you're, you're willing, you're willing to give people a chance to speak, okay, um, all right, moving on to Scorpio. What do we have here for Scorpio? Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Okay, so Scorpio, someone here, whether it's you or your person, if, if you guys want to get to where you're going, you got to put that work in, okay? You're not going to get it by just sitting around and looking, you know, looking, uh, what, what's happening? Confused, lost and confused. No, you got you to gotta get out there and do it. Okay, Scorpio, we've got the Three of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. We have the hierophant we've got the four of cups we have the tower and we have the sun 
What is happening here? I feel like I feel like either okay, someone here is not healing from something. Someone here is not healing from something. Okay, it could be that someone here was married. It could be that someone here was married. And that marriage didn't work out. And now they're rejecting everybody and everything around them. Okay. So maybe, you know, Scorpio, someone's telling you to work on your healing. Or you're telling this person to work on your healing. We've got the Tower and the Sun and the Fool card. There may be a breakthrough that happens here, Scorpio. And this person may actually set themselves free. There you are, Scorpio. So either, either Scorpio, you're per, okay, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> okay, so either Scorpio, either you haven't healed from something and your person is realizing that it's never gonna happen for them and that this is not something that they wanna continue to build with and they realize that. <laughs> Sorry, the truth. And they're setting themselves free. Okay. Or Scorpio, you're realizing that you're dealing with somebody here that is still heartbroken over a marriage. Okay. And you're realizing here that maybe you're wasting your time and you're setting yourself free. Scorpio, for some of you, you may be finding out that this person went to go talk to this past person and work things out. Okay, Scorpio, some of you may be finding out that someone was still heartbroken or over a marriage, and it may shock you to find out that this person took the risk of actually going to communicate with this person. Look at this, Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Scorpio, okay, so yeah, th those were a few different messages, Scorpio, you take it as it resonates, but there's definitely someone here that's not over something, we're in Mercury retrograde, so someone here may be finding out that there's still communication happening in that situation, okay, moving on, moving on, okay, uh, overall message for my beautiful earth signs, okay, we've got kangaroo, unsettled time, need to plan ahead, Okay, so for my earth signs, things may get a little crazy, especially with, you know, especially with Mercury retrograde. So be one step ahead, okay? You know it's Mercury retrograde. Make sure there's gas in your car. Put air in your tires. Don't leave drinks by your computer. Update your computers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? Try to think one step ahead, ahead of everything that can go wrong. Okay. So let's see what message we have. Overall message from my water signs. We've got the seven of pentacles. We've got the chariot and the ace of pentacles with the high priestess. Guys, you're thinking about someone. Someone's thinking about you. Nostalgic. Missing. The, you're missing somebody. Someone's missing you. And they're coming forward. Ace of pentacles and the chariot. The high priestess. The nine of wands. And the king of pentacles. So just make sure, Cancer, that when this person comes back around towards you, that they're coming back around for commitment this time and not just to play games, okay? Star card under the deck and the nine of cups. Some of you may be getting a wish fulfillment, okay? Some of you may be getting a wish fulfillment. All right, moving on to my beautiful fire signs and air signs. Spirit, tell me about my beautiful fire signs and air signs for... May 20th in love. Tell me about my beautiful fire signs and air signs. May 20th in love. Okay. Leo. What do we have here for Leo? Ooh, unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. <clears throat> okay, Leo, use that intuition. <clears throat> okay. 
We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We have the World card. We've got the Nine of Swords. We have the Page of Wands, Leo Energy, the Moon, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, you know, listen, you're good all by yourself. You are, okay? You take care of things just fine. You don't need nobody, so you're good. With the World card here, um, I do feel that with the Page of Wands and the Nine of Swords, you've got someone coming towards you that's really stressed out. You may be done with this. I feel like you're done with this. <clears throat> this person could be way younger than you. They could be your child. I'm just putting it out there. Okay, this could be a child. But I feel like someone here is really stressed out, really going through a hard time. And with the moon card and the three of pentacles, okay, I feel like, you know, you're not following your intuition when it comes down to this person. Okay, you're not following your intuition when it comes down to this person. Whatever you've been doing in this situation, it's not working because you haven't been listening to your intuition. Okay, they may want to come in and work things out with you. You know, spirit may be testing you because this is a karmic cycle that has already completed itself and spirit wants to make sure that you've really learned your lesson. So use your intuition because that moon card talks about clouded intuition. Okay, not wanting to see the red flags, not wanting to see the truth for what it is. Okay, moving on to my Sagittarians. All right, my Sagis. We've got fire. There you are, Sag. Strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. So, Sag, either you're really loving someone or you're going to set their house on fire. Because I'm seeing fire here. Sag, do not, do not set anything on fire. <laughs> okay? Do not, do not blow up their house. Please, Sag. Please. Okay. Moving on to Sag. Let's see. Knight of Cups, Five of Swords, Two of Wands, Ten of Swords, I see the tower and fire again. Sag, do not blow up anyone's vehicle. Do not blow up their house. Stay home, Sag. Stay home. <laughs> and like someone's on their couch with that seven of cups. Like, what the hell was that? Did someone just blow up the shed? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Sag, oh my God, y'all crazy. All right, so knight of cups and the five of swords. I feel like you gave your love to somebody, Sag, and they played mind games, okay? They tried to one-up you with the two of swords and the ten of swords. Um, you know, you may, may, may be making the decision to leave this person or maybe there was someone else in the, in the picture and they were trying to play games here with the tower and the seven of cups. It's basically about to hit the fan, okay? It's about to hit the fan. Be careful with fire, though. I keep seeing fire, so be careful that a fire doesn't break out in your house. Someone's engine doesn't catch fire. All kidding aside, okay, it is Mercury retrograde. Make sure your electronics are closed when you leave the house, Sag. Okay, so just be careful with fire. You know, if you smoke cigarettes, make sure that they're out. If you smoke them in your house or even on your porch where it's a wood porch. Um, so just be careful, okay? Just be careful. All right, moving on to Aries. We've got Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Aries, who are you robbing? Aries be robbing people left and right up in here. No, okay. So yeah, Aries, you're going to be, if you're in sales, you're going to be sharp. I'm getting you could you could uh, sell ice to an Eskimo. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that one. People may be calling you shark. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But Aries, I feel like, you know, you're you're hitting below the belt when it comes down to your money or in business. Okay. You're very shrewd. You will steal whatever right under someone's nose. You don't even care. You don't even care. Um, if you're a real estate agent or whatever, you're just pushing paperwork through to make the sale. Like you're just doing what a cut in corners, whatever the case may be. All right. Tell me about Aries. We've got the Hanged Man, the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Aries, some of you are going to do, I'm, I'm not going to lie, some of you are going to do whatever the hell it takes to get your Ten of Pentacles up, okay? With the Hanged Man and the Two of Pentacles, I feel like th this is not love. I'm sorry. And if it does have to do with love, then some of you may be trying to find like a sugar mama or a sugar daddy. Be careful that someone's not taking advantage of you for money okay because this is very much money oriented okay somebody here has been up and down financially for a long time with the four of pentacles they're becoming greedy they're becoming selfish this person always has their hand out this is someone like
like completely desolate, okay? Um, with the Two of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, I, I feel like, Aries, you might be dealing with a gold digger or Aries, you know, you're looking for people that are going to open that door to you financially. I hate to say it, but someone here is in gold digger mode. Someone here needs a place to live. Someone here needs a car. Someone here needs $20 to go get lunch. You know, I don't know. But someone here is in a state of they need help big time. And with that two of swords and that ten of pentacles, protect your money. Cross watcher, protect your money. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your debit card. <laughs> okay, for real, for real. All right overall message for my fire signs okay we've got ladder climbing towards success okay so for my fire signs some of you um you know maybe wanting to improve your career schooling your relationships whatever it is you're trying to become a better person okay page of cups the six of pentacles the death card the three of wands the ace of cups and the king of pentacles fire signs some of you you know what i just actually heard that what is it the 12-step program for when you know for aa or in rehab or whatever right you know i don't know what step it is but it's that step where you have to apologize to the people that you've hurt so fire signs i feel like you're coming into this place where you're giving an apology to anyone that you've hurt and with the death card, that is going to help you change and ascend. And now with the three of wands, the ace of cups and the king of pentacles, I feel like there's just this energy of you feel like before you can manifest a positive committed relationship or before you can manifest an abundant business, you have to apologize to anyone that you've hurt or taken from in the past. That, that's just what's coming to you, maybe spiritually or whatever. You just know you have to do this to help your life transition into something more positive, okay? All right, so moving on, or that could be advice from spirit to do that, okay? All right, so moving on to my beautiful air signs, okay? Aquarius, Aquarius, four-leaf clover, great and good fortune. Damn, it is a good day to be an aqua. Okay, let's see here for Aquarius. We've got the Three of Swords and the Two of Cups, the Star card, Aquarian Energy, the Nine of Wands, the, the Knight of Swords, and the Hierophant. Okay, so Aquarius, you're breaking someone's heart here. You're breaking someone's heart here. Okay, with the Star card and the Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands, I feel like this is going to be hard for you to do, but there's something here that you want, Aquarius, okay, because you're rushing towards this Hierophant energy, okay, you're, you're rushing towards somebody that you want to marry, okay, with the Star card and the Hierophant here. Now, it could be for some of you, Aquarius, you know, I'm just going to put this out there. It could be that some of you are married and you separated from your person and this is a rebound energy. This is a rebound energy and um, you guys are just uh, going back to your person, okay, sorry third party gotta go gotta go back to my husband my wife my boyfriend my girlfriend but but Aquarius there's something here that you want and you're being divinely you know that star card you have to think of the bible the north star you know how they followed that north you're being divinely guided you may be having dreams of this person strong soul tie between you and this person and I just noticed this look at what's interesting here you see those two cups there's a man and a woman in there but they can't reach each other they're stuck in the cup so you may be dealing with a situation where there's two people here in two different relationships that are running towards each other and coming back to together okay but you know i feel that this is going to end very well uh, aquarius okay so whoever here is breaking someone's heart to go towards what they really want it's going to bring a lot of luck and fortune towards you okay all right moving towards my gemini's We've got the Rose. Romance is in the air. Okay, you can be meeting someone named Rose. Your name may be Rose. Some of you may have a rose tattoo. Someone may be getting roses. Okay, tell me about Gemini, please. King of Wands, 
Leo, Sagittarius, uh, the lovers, Gemini energy. There you are. Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. <laughs> oh my gosh, Gemini. You guys are about to have some sexy time that's going to have you smiling at work the next day. This is someone, okay, and I'm, I, I got to say, this is hot. This is hot and heavy, Gemini, okay? You're about to have a sexual encounter here where it's going to boost your ego. You're going to have a pep in your your step okay queen of swords and the seven of pentacles the problem here is okay now this could be with someone from your past okay because gemini there you are it could be that you're meeting up with an ex and the sex is insane okay or it could be here with that lover's card that there's someone else in the picture and you're going to cut them out and stop giving them time and attention because man you you're about to run into somebody that is going to rock your damn world lord jesus okay moving on to libra all right we've got dolphin financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past okay so libra there's something here that you invested in maybe you lended somebody money but it's coming back towards you okay Libra, we've got the Three of Cups, we've got the Sun, we have the Hermit, and we've got the King of Cups with the Justice card and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so Libra, this is somebody that did you dirty in the past, okay? Now, it could be you invested money in a business and, you know, never got any return, never got a phone call back. It could be a relationship with somebody that took a lot of money from you in the past and, you know, you were just screwed. It, it's something that you lost in the past. And now with the Sun card and the Three of Cups, you're getting that phone call of, hey, let's meet up. I have good news. Okay. With the Hermit and the King of Cups, this could be a Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like you haven't heard from this person in a while. Um, with that king of cups energy it is someone that you cared about so this could be a friend a, a good friend a family member a lover it was someone that you cared about okay and with the justice card and the seven of swords this is someone that took something from you and they are coming in to make it right nice libra okay so let's see what overall energy we have for my air signs We've got Target, a goal-oriented person. So air signs, y'all know exactly what you want, and you're not stopping until you get it. We've got the Judgment card. We have the Magician. We've got Temperance. We have the Fool. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. Aquarius, straight up, plain and simple, Page of Swords. You see something you want. Knight of Wands, you're going for it. The Fool card taking the leap of faith. Temperance, you're at peace with what you're doing. The Magician and the judgment card you are manifesting this making that final decision and going for it okay and going for it all right so let's see what we have here for the overall message <clears throat> overall message please overall collective message for all 12 signs um collective finance and career and collective singles please for May 20th, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, collective message, collective finance and career, and collective singles, please, Spirit. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the collective message. Ace of Cups, very nice. Five of Cups, the Judgment card, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. For the collective that I am reading for, I do, you know, we're in Mercury retrograde, guys, so I'm sorry. I got to read it as I see it. Someone here walked away from a situation. They walked away from a situation, and it could be that if you walk away from a situation, you feel bad, but this decision is going to bring you towards something new that's very loving and passionate. For others of you, this is someone that regrets walking away from you, and they're coming back for a second chance. So it could be a second chance, or it could be that you've made a final decision to walk away and you're heading into something new and beautiful we've got the ten of swords we've got the knight of wands we have the queen of swords and we've got the fool so again guys this could be an energy of you ending something going out having a good time but still being guarded because you're not trying to relive that disaster right 
For others of you, very nasty ending, very nasty divorce, but now they're coming back asking you to take the leap of faith and you're not sure if you should trust it, okay? Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Two of Swords. It's been a long time. So if this is somebody that's coming back with an apology, it's it's going to be hard for you to even hear this person or trust this person because it's been a long time. But with the Death card and the Ace of Swords... And the seven of cups I, I do feel that guys if this is somebody that's coming back around you know you're unsure you're unsure you're not going to believe you're not going to believe your eyes but with the death card and the ace of swords this person has really changed and really grown okay they've really changed and really grown so it's up to you if you want to take them back or not you know it's up to you if you want to take them back or not okay Finance and career. Four of Pentacles. Stop spending your money on Three of Cups on partying. There may be a lot of birthdays, weddings, events that are coming up. Don't give as much. Don't give as much as you normally do. Save your money. Maybe you're going out drinking with the Strength card and the Four of Swords. You need to stay home. Focus on your healing. Focus on meditating. Clearing out your chakra. Um, with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands, it's going to suck saying no to people. It really is. But with the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords, if you want to get anywhere in life, that doing this is not going to get you there. Okay, um, with the seven of swords and the six of swords, you can make the decision to make to to move forward in life or with the seven of swords. You know, I, I feel like eight of, of pentacles and the seven of swords. If you want to keep sneaking away from work, you're not hurting anybody but yourself. If you're going out drinking all weekend and you call out on a Monday, that's money out of your pocket. If you are supposed to, you know, uh, do, you know, your business alive or whatever it is that you do for work. Okay. And you don't do it because you want to go sneak off and party. You, nobody's losing money, but you, okay nobody's losing money but you all right um with the eight of pentacles and the empress if you work at it you could achieve something really big here or you could sneak off go party go do whatever you want to do and you know look six of wands here in the empress you could you have the opportunity to do something really big here okay the whether you rob yourself of that opportunity or not is completely up to you okay Singles, collective singles. We've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Page of Cups, and we've got Temperance. Spirit is telling you to be patient. You've got somebody coming in. You have somebody coming in. You manifested this person. You've been waiting on this person. You've manifested this person. This is someone that could live at a distance, okay? But you've got long-term commitment here. Nine of Swords, the, the Hermit, and the Ten of Wands. This could be a husband or wife that you've been separated from that's coming back, back around. This could have been a twin flame journey that broke up okay, that that split and maybe this person went off to be in a relationship with a younger water sign. Spirit is telling you to be patient. This is coming back around. Seven of Wands and the King of Wands. Um, you guys had to separate from this person to overcome challenges, okay? Uh, and look, we've got the Emperor here. Page of Wands and the Justice card. Yeah, you're. Th this person's going to come back around towards you they're going to come back around towards you and they're going to come back around towards you with karmic lessons learned and more ascended. Seven of pentacles and the five of wands. Yeah, I feel like in the past things did not work out with this person. There was a lot of fight. It could very well be a twin flame journey, okay? But if you're single right now and you know, you're you're manifesting somebody from your past, they are coming. Knight of swords, it's going to go from complete stagnancy. Look, the king to the queen of wands, the four of wands and the 10 of cups. This is twin soul twin flame um they're they're gonna come chasing you three of pentacles to work things out yeah so guys you know oh look ace of pentacles under the deck with the knight of cups and the high priestess with the hanged man you've waited a long time for this okay you always this is someone that you always knew you would come back together with okay and now look you've ascend, ascended to the nine of pentacles they've ascended to um the uh the emperor okay and with the hierophant and the six of cups this is an ex that's it. i feel like you were married to this person possibly or you thought you were going to be married or either way the divine is bringing you and this past person together okay uh and look we've got the nine of cups the world card and the ten of pentacles ten of cups four of wands good lord what more do you want here you know what i'm saying um i do feel 
I do feel like this is coming back together. Okay, singles, I'm sorry. I know you would want to know about new love, but I don't know what to tell you. We're in Mercury retrograde and the message is clear. So there's nothing else I can do. All right, I love you guys so very much and I will see you soon. Take care.